Hey guys, Udavulture here. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you another God of War Ragnarok video, playing this in performance mode and obviously on my PS5 and LG C1. Now looking here at the settings, worth noting, so I am playing this with favorite performance and high frame rate mode, which is basically un unlocked frame rate, um, which again at this point has really become my default uh, mode of record, uh, well just playing and I think at this point recording, so pretty much the most of my uh, future videos for this will be in performance mode. Now, first thing, right off the bat, um, spoilers up ahead. I mean, again, this is a story-driven title, so just really want to note that from the very beginning. If you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, um, I, pro I probably shouldn't <laughs> wouldn't watch this video. Um, just, again, story-driven, linear. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's story elements pretty much in every video that, that I'll end up doing for this game. So want to note that. And also, down in the description, you can find a few different pieces of information, which include a detailed list of my LG C1 picture settings and PS5 console settings, a link tree where you can donate to and support the channel directly, and a 5% discount code for coffee and tea orders. Now overall, absolutely loving this game. You know, I was a huge fan, uh, obviously, of God of War 2018. Honestly, probably easily in my top five, actually. Um, just beautiful game to play, and especially this one now. I mean, just as a sequel so far, and, and so far, at least in terms of my story progress, I just... I don't know how to compliment this game enough. I mean, really, just especially in terms of visual fidelity. I mean, what Santa Monica have accomplished here, the game looks stunning, especially on a display like the C1. Um, again, just the, the detailed environments and, I, of course, going into the OLED strengths. The, the environments where there's a lot of dynamic lighting and it's specifically darker environments. So, for example, going into caves or um, the, the elven realm, Alfheim, just there's if you've played that if you've gotten to that part of the the game you'll know what I'm talking about like there's like these dark corridors but they're offset by like these very bright lights and just overall art style and again a TV like the C1 and OLED in general really carry those kind of scenes very well because just with the perfect blacks and and just the overall color I mean it's like I said it's uh, it's a beautiful game no matter what but especially playing on something like a C1 um, it really is an, an amazing experience you now. With all that, you know, I'm going to go ahead and keep the commentary short here. Like I said, I, I have plenty more uh, God of War videos coming up in the future. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all about the C1 or or really just the game itself. Um, be more than happy to answer them. I appreciate you guys for your continued support. Please leave a like on the video, and I'll talk to you later. Wow. This thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Namir, tell him left. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. The Kraken Hatchman gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Beaner. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh.
Said it, double brother. Incredible. Whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the Whetstone.
So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You've lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. That's it! Let's head across. Good bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? Cooperative in large scare quotes. I might be able to get up there if you help me. 